Rocco, what can you look? What are your essentials? Begging? What's up, GQ Sports? I'm Clay Thompson, and these are my essentials. Noogie! Rocco, boy. You want a treat? Rocco, get. Come on. No. Come back here, dude. Rocco, you're embarrassing me. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, ah. Probably my number one essential would have to be this guy, Sir Rocco Von Thompson. I got him my rookie year, and he's been with me ever since. He is kind of a pest at times, but he's like the firstborn, you know? He's just love him unconditionally. We have great days up in the bay, you know? We have our little parks we go to. I'm big into nature and outdoors, so me and Rocco explore all over the bay, whether it's the Oakland Hills, Marin County, you know, the Presidio. I got all my spots up there. We got a little routine. He's a loyal steed, and he's the first pet I ever owned, so Rocco, you'll forever hold a special place in my heart, buddy. And Rocco is actually a pretty famous dog. He uh, has a funny following on the gram, so Rocco, can you start making me some checks, though? Can you hold your weight around here? What do you say to that? Okay. We got the fifth edition of the KT line, the KT5. This is probably the most innovative one to date, just with the color scheme, obviously, and obviously the two straps, you know. Add the Velcro, bring it back in style, a little retro feel. When I'm on the court, I like to roll the dice, you know. Pull up from 35 feet, I'm a big dice guy, so I like the swag, too. Anta took a chance on me and me with them five years ago. And since our partnership, um, the brand has exploded. And I've obviously, my trips to China are well chronicled. Never would have in a million years thought I would have my own shoe line, especially on the other side of the world. So this is a huge memento to me, just with all the hard work and motivation to keep going. Big things to come, but can't live without my KT5s. What we have here are a couple of my favorite golf clubs the driver, and the three wood. To be the best golfer I can be, I have to be able to wield these like a, like a swordsman. Golf is another outlet for me that's not basketball. It allows me to stay somewhat competitive, but just enjoy nature. The camaraderie of the game, obviously playing with my teammates, play with your family, friends, future children. I started to play golf, age 12. My dad took me out, bought my first set. I remember going to Lake Oswego Muni as a kid, like every other weekend. He'd just drop us off and that was our babysitter was the golf course. I had to learn the hard way as a kid, you know, a few windows broke in here and there. It's a great sport. Don't try it at home though, kids. Music and basketball actually go hand in hand and half the time I'll be on the court by myself just belting out songs and annoying people. I just love to flow to my favorite songs and you know, handle the ball to music to get shots up to music. The Silver Surfers, these things are nice. What are you listening to right now? Bro? I can't hear you, bro. It's noise canceling. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I got a lot of variety on my iTunes, reggae, hip hop. I like to listen to classical when I'm reading something. Classic rock, you know, 70s. I'm a 90s baby, so I also, I did like the Red Hot Chili Peppers a lot as a kid. Bone Thugs was my favorite group growing up. That was my first concert I ever went to. So when you hear me on the court, I'm definitely bumping a lot of bone while I'm getting shots up. Without these, I'll be very bored out there at times. Oh, we got a book I'm currently reading. This is a great book, Washington Black. It was actually gifted to me by my girlfriend who has an amazing collection of literature. I'm only about halfway through, so I can't claim to read the whole thing, but it's about a freed slave and a place that's dear to my home, the Caribbean, it takes place in Barbados. And it's just an amazing read. I always keep a couple books with me on the road just because screen time is, I want to say it's an epidemic for um, kids my age, or grown people I should say, but anything to get me off that screen, and I love a good book. I need to finish this though, because Laura's on my back about doing that, so I should probably, probably do that. I love the water so much, and it was a dream of mine to own a boat one day, and when I signed my, my deal with the Warriors, I rewarded myself with one, and it's honestly like changed my life, just being able to get out the water, go fishing, go diving, you know, see the coastline, see Catalina and the Channel Islands. You know, you never know when you need an escape plan, so it's nice to have a boat on hand. But it's a zombie apocalypse, you know, big earthquake. You never know what's gonna happen, so I'm so thankful for my boat and the future we have together. <laughs>
my watch collection here. I can't live without these. I'm big into watches. Got the name engraved. This is your time, the Tizo Mantra. And this is actually probably one of my most favorite watches. I used to have a basketball card like this, actually. It's the texture of an NBA ball. Whenever I'm away from the court, especially during this rehab stage, it just reminds me what has taken me so many great places, and it's this pigskin right here. And as you can see, Rocco loves it too. The black band, more classy. It's more with the, when I'm suited and booted. This is my everyday look. This is the greatest fan gift I've ever received and it got the most use out of it. I was in China when this was gifted to me. I forgot the fan's name, but if you are watching this, I appreciate you, bro. This has been giving me so much pleasure, especially on the road for years. It's got my Anta logo on there, which I thought was so cool. You know, we got the gold and silver set. Come holiday season, this chessboard sees the most action of the year. You know, we have the family tournament. My dad thinks he's nice. I have to humble him every once in a while. My little brother Trace is real good. We always compete. We just can't avoid competing. That's one thing the Thompsons can't do. But when we do, it's all in good fun and good faith and it will forever see action during the holidays the rest of my life. Feel me, Rocco? He's a backgammon guy, so he's not a big fan. This is one of like two backpacks I own. This leather bag. We were all gifted this at the 2018 All-Star game. That game, to me meant so much because I was so lucky to grow up going to Staples. I would go with my dad when he was doing the radio with the Lakers and I was just sitting in that booth and I would just visualize playing on that court one day. That was such a special weekend for me to play in Staples where I grew up watching games and I got to have my whole family there, my high school friends, my high school coaches, AU coaches, and it was a coming of age sort of moment in my career. This backpack, man, I really don't want to lose this thing. It's definitely essential, and this was such a special time for me. It was my best game, too, my performance-wise, so I'll never forget that. And this thing, you probably, if you see me out in the streets, you're probably gonna see this on my back. Socks, man, can't go wrong with these stand socks. This is an essential item to me because I live my life running up and down a hardwood court, and you gotta take care of your feet. Stance came in and actually revolutionized the way I think about socks, and they're just, their flair, their swag is incredible. I'm pretty superstitious as well, so if I have a big game and a certain pair of socks, like the Yoda socks in 2016, I know I gave those a shout out, I'll just wear them again to try, you know, enhance my superpowers on the court. Shout out to Stance for hooking me up. Throw me that one, it'll be fine. I'll keep Rocco off me. We got these duck, uh, these look like a platypus's feet, but they are really nice. And Rocky, as you can see, Rocco's really into the rubber thing. Can you chill for one second? You're not a retriever, you're a bulldog. Sorry, man. Anyways, Rocco has no manners, but I'm big into cross training and I love to go diving, especially free diving. I think it's so good for the diaphragm, for the lungs, for your breathing. And I actually found a size of fins that fit me. So these have me feeling like a dolphin under there. I look pretty goofy in them, but they get the job done. All right, man, that's enough. No. Nope. <laughs> Keep chill. As you can see, he's really well trained. So thank you for checking out my essentials. This is Clay Thompson. I'm signing out. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>